Hello and welcome everyone. In this lecture video, we will see one more example in the construction of DFA type 7. Suppose you are asked to construct a DFA that represents set of all strings that contains exactly certain specified number of symbols. For example, construct a DFA over the alphabet AB that represents set of all strings that contains exactly three number of A's. Here, the basic string of this language is A, 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 that is three A's. Now we first represent this basic string by using state diagram. So let's start with starting state Q0. Reading the first A from state Q0 leads to the state Q1. And reading the next A in Q1 state leads to the state Q2. Similarly, reading the next A symbol in Q2 state leads to the state Q3. Now, initially the machine is in the state Q0 and does not read anything. Therefore, whenever the machine is in the state Q0, it indicates that the string contains zero number of A. Similarly, whenever the machine is in the state Q1, it indicates that the string contains exactly one number of A. Similarly, Q2 state indicates that the string contains exactly two number of A. And Q3 state indicates that the string contains exactly three number of A's. Since this basic string, that is, exactly three number of A's belongs to this language and hence should be accepted, therefore, we double circle this Q3 state. Now, no matter how many number of B's are read in Q3 state, the number of A's does not change. That means the number of A's are still three Therefore, we have to accept these type of strings. Hence, we make this transition on reading symbol B on Q3 state. Now, what if the machine reads a symbol A in Q3 state? That means A after these three A. In that case, the number of A changes to four. Therefore, it should be rejected. And whatever comes after this A, that is either A or B should also be rejected. That's why we make a new dead state Q4 and moves to that dead state on encountering symbol A in Q3 state. And now whatever the symbol read in Q4 should be rejected. Therefore, we make this transition. Similarly, what if the machine reads B in Q2 state. That means AAA are already encountered and reading B after these two A's. In that case, the number of A are still two. Therefore, we make this transition on B. Similarly, what if the machine reads a symbol B in Q1 state? That means B after this A. In that case, the number of A still remains same. That means it contains exactly one number of A's. Therefore, we make this transition on B. Similarly, what if the machine reads a symbol B in Q0 state? In that case, the number of A's does not change. That means is still zero. Therefore, we make this transition on reading symbol B in Q0 state. So this is our final required DFA. Similarly, you can try other type of DFA that is based on type 7. If you have any queries, then please leave the comment and thank you for watching this video.